Hi guys, it's Katherine Holmes, the art teacher, here to tell you and show you how to use a safety compass. This is a plastic compass as opposed to those old fashioned metal ones that have a very sharp point on it. These are pretty precise and I like them because you can do little visual measurements here. So let's get started. I have a piece of paper, which I'm going to tape down on the sides. By taping it down, my paper won't move around on me and I do need to use both hands for drawing. Usually I would just use this hand, but today I'm also gonna be using this hand. So, got my piece of tape. I'm gonna go like this with my fingers just to get it a little bit less sticky. So, when I eventually pull the tape off, the paper below it will be less likely to rip or get some of that peely paper stuff. So I put two in each corner and one at the bottom. This is painter's tape, so it's very, it's less likely to rip anyway, but if you're using masking tape or scotch tape, definitely put your finger on it and get some of the oils from your skin to make it less sticky. All right, here we go. Here is my paper. In the very center, right about here for me, I'm going to make a dot. Now I want this to be a very tiny dot. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna make it big only so you guys can see it. And I'm also going to be using Sharpie to make these circles. I really want to use pencil, and I did a video using pencil, and then I tried to use it on my projector, and it was not dark enough. You could not see the pencil at all. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again using the Sharpie. So the first thing that we want to do is take this grommet right here. Now notice there's a front and a back side. The letters are going the proper way, and they're not backwards when it is facing upward the way we want it to. Notice how it's backwards and upside down here. You can tell because there's a little lip on the edge too. So make sure that you can read the word compass. Line up this little grommet with your dot and take one of your pencils. It's sharp, but not super sharp. Super sharp is no good because it'll eventually snap and we don't want that. I'm going to take the hand I don't usually draw with and I'm going to hold my pencil straight up and down. And I'm gonna push somewhat hard on this. The reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want the center of my compass to move. I do want it to move and slide around like this, but I need to keep this grommet on the center at all times. So that is why I am holding it super still here. Then I'm gonna take my Sharpie. Again, I wanna use pencil because I'll eventually erase the pencil lines and maybe paint over them or draw on them. But for the sake of the video, I'm using the Sharpie so you can see the actual lines I'm making. Now, before I begin, I pointed out some of these dots here but there's also some dots here for even smaller circles. So my first circle that I'm going to make, it's gonna be pretty small. So I'm gonna use one of those. I'll move it over this way, just so you can see how I start. So again, center, taking my Sharpie and putting it on the side dot. And I'm going around and around and around and around. And my arm doesn't bend all the way around, so I'm gonna to have to actually take it and move it and put it back in that exact same dot and bring it around like this. So it's not the most beautiful circle, but it is nice and dark. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and find one of these side circles. Again, using my non-dominant drawing hand to hold the compass still, and I'm drawing around and around and around and around, and I've got my second circle. Let's do it again. I'm going to draw around and around and around, all the way around, and then I'm going to pick up my marker. Oh, I can actually make it this time. Looks good. So, so far I've got three circles. What I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and go back to one of these other circles so I can continue drawing those concentric circles. Concentric just means they all have the same center point. They all have the same middle. So check it out. I don't have to keep moving the compass. I'm just doing that so I can show you that I've actually got some circles here. So I'm gonna put it back and again, do another one. Once you get into it, they go pretty quickly. I'm gonna keep my compass centered here with my non-dominant hand and I'm gonna make another circle. 
I'm trying to make them all the same thickness, but you know, it's kind of a guessing game unless you actually measure. So do the best you can. Hopefully this marker will make it much easier to see when I put it up on the big screen for my students to look at. Again, I'm going around and around and around and around. And I have been doing this for years, years of practice. So that's when my circles are looking decent. If your circles aren't perfect, don't worry. You're doing it in pencil so you can erase. And I've got one at the very last dot. Look at that, it went right to the edge. And there we have it. So I've created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine circles. Make that your goal to make at least eight. Try to make at least eight circles. You don't have to press as hard as I did. Again, I wanted you to be able to actually see my drawing. So I'm gonna peel off this tape sideways peeling so I don't rip and check it out not perfect as you can see you can see where I started and be stopped which is fine no worries we get some decent looking circles just by using a safety compass step two of this we're going to be taking some shapes and placing them on top and then creating a really cool optical illusion effect but I'll see you next time for that one have a great art day